What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to another episode of Colony Survival. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today as being out for a little while. And check out a sweet little game where I'm actually going to build some boxes. I need some like crates in here. So let's go ahead and does it only take, it takes one plank to make boxes? That's pretty sweet. I had no idea that like the cost of entry was so cheap. That's actually pretty simple. I'm going to stack up some crates over here. It's just going to look pretty is really what it comes down to. I'm not, like, amazingly interested in doing anything creative over here. I just want it to look nice. You know what I mean? Like, we'll put some boxes around here. You know how it goes when you stack shit up? Like, I don't know. I got that room in my house where, like, it's just, like, a storage room. You know what I mean? And, like, in the storage room, it's where the cats have, like, their litter box and all that kind of stuff. One of my colonists has died. How did my Wiat farmer die? Oh, they got in there somehow? Dude, you guards at the gate are really doing a poor job right now. I need you guys to, like... Bring up your A-game, man. I need you to bring up your A-game hard. I think with this harvest, we will more than likely... So I've got... Ugh. So if this stuff is all good to go, let me see if I can harvest it. And then what I'll do is I'll just turn it into bread because it'll probably be quicker. And it'll save them the need to have to do it. Let me take a look at my inventory and see if that's actually being added, is it? It is, I think. So 26. Let me make sure that's being at 27. Yeah. So I'm going to harvest this field since we just lost the wheat farmer and I don't want to lose the harvest. And then maybe I'll save them some trouble tonight. I don't know. Let's see what the yield is on this kind of stuff. It looks like being the good, generous king that I am, that doing a little bit of field work out here, it assists a little bit. I mean, especially considering we lost this wheat farmer over here, so there's not really a whole lot I can do about that. Uh, the thing that I would probably recommend is that, like, let's say that I wanted to use this right here. Can I not bake the bread? That's my next question is, like, if I can bake the bread, I would rather bake the bread. But it doesn't look like I can actively do that. So I actually have to pass that off to one of these individuals over here. And I just kind of have to hope that with, I think, 16 wheat gives us, like, 8 bread. And that gives us, I don't know, we got to get our wheat farmer back either way. So let me get, I don't want to create an area, I just got to get a colonist back, so there it is. We've got a colonist back for right now. I do have some plans, but I'm thinking the majority of our food from now on should probably go into, oh, I don't know, something like maybe, I'm thinking what I want to do now is just get some more archers in all fairness. I think we're really kind of struggling with the challenges that we have in front of us right now. Like these guys are standing on castellations trying to get it done. But a few extra archers would probably be good. I don't know where our food's going to wind up at the end of the day, though. At the end of the day, my people need victuals. Do, 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 do. I'll put, like, an archer tower over there. And then I'll put somebody over on this wall. And then what we need to start thinking about is how we want to expand further. So if I put another one right there, that might work out okay. I don't think it's the best spot that I could possibly have one of our individual how much food do I get for each bed that, or each bread that he bakes dude they've already gone through all of that holy bejeebus stacks okay we need to protect these people then I need to come up with some kind of funneling method in order to get the zombies to go after what I Ooh, we've got a mint over here I kind of want a mint I need planks and gold ingots it's not counterfeiting if the king says it's okay yeah let me see if I can do a mint what like what does a mint do does a mint help out at all? Like, is a mint a thing that I want to have? Printing my own money sounds awesome, but that might be the pathway to, like, inflation and, like, ruining our country. Needs iron ingot planks gold. It's not counterfeiting. The king said it's okay. I probably won't do that right now, then, because that's just going to add another job to the list that needs to get done. And, frankly, we already have enough jobs that are, like, clogging everything up. Instead, looking after the general public health of our nation... That puts us at 246, which means we'll go up to 50 a day. Not too bad, but I think we're officially out of food. Yeah, we just need more wheat farmers, bro. We need more wheat farmers like bad. We need wheat farmers like whoa. Nice bro, like whoa. So he'll get that done right there. I can't really do a whole lot else. Instead, I may put some further wheat fields out in front. Oh, man, they still busted through the wall over here. I thought I fixed this problem. I thought I killed you, tree. I thought I murdered you. Did somebody replant you? Somebody replanted you. There's a traitor in our midst. I wonder if the trees, like, spread. That's kind of what I'm wondering now is, like, do the trees spread on their own and, like, do their own thing? Because it looks like that one grew. Pretty sure I chopped that tree down. If so, the game has shown at least a little bit more 
coherency with regards to the way that the agriculture works than I expected. I didn't expect it to knock out blocks from the wall either when it didn't want that thing to go down. I'm a little bit surprised about that. I think what I'll do now is we'll do another wheat farmer over here. Because, you know, that's how I like to spend my weekends, just doing wheat farmers. That's how I spend all my time, really. I mean, if you're a wheat farmer, watch out. I'm downright predatory. We'll go right there. Sounds good. So there's another wheat farm. We will take another guy. Yep, recruit a colonist. I don't know where this guy's going to go. He may go over to, like, the archer's tower. We'll recruit two because we have enough. I mean, the food will last us. It's all right. We don't have that much food laying around. And my guess is that the majority of these guys are going to go be archers. They're going to go up the walls and add on to our little defense force. Hmm. What other building things do I want to do? I need to do some building things out here. Oop, I found a wall that I didn't... This is not coherent with the pattern that we intended to select and, like, use. All right. So we've got another area over here. Like, quite a large area, in fact, that I think we might be able to utilize instead I'm just going to look around the map and see what there is. Like, we've got a lake on this side, but that's not inherently altogether that interesting to me. I don't really care. It will be cool if later on they implement the need for, like, water and stuff like that. But that lake does not assist me right now. I'm going to go over to this side and see what's up. It's actually just a big old wide field with a tree that very much apparently likes Jesus. Look at that tree right there. A tree that's a religious icon. I'm pretty sure we could put a wall around this and, like, a parking garage right over there. And we could charge people to come look at this and be like, hey... Do you want to look on the mystical tree that definitely embodies the spirit of our Christ, our Lord? Hmm? Would you like to look at this tree? Thirty-seven fifty. Twenty-seven fifty for children. You can't you can't get the blessings if you don't go to the great tree of Christ, man. You gotta prop it up too. We gotta get some ads and everything to get people in here. I suppose it's possible that like I could plant these fields over here. That was like one of those options that I hadn't really considered, but I could plant a ton of wheat over on this side. Although wheat targeting appears to need some work. We gotta we gotta get the wheat scientists on this. Wheat scientists, why have you failed me? My wheat targeting is weak. If our wheat targeting is no good, how can we live in a fully militarized nation, dude? I bet this wouldn't happen with any other modern nation. I'm trying to put in wheats right now, and you guys are making it difficult. There we go. So we got some wheat over on that side. Nope, that is not what I desired. I wanted that wheat to go away. Go away, wheat. You're inside my grassy area, and that's not allowed. You can't have wheat in the grassy area. What kind of chaotic society do you, th do you think we live in? Like, that's not proper. You can't have wheat in an undesignated area. That's just savagery. I don't want to overvalue my wheat planting skills right now, but it is my opinion that I am much better at planting wheat than the AI is. I'm just saying, I plant wheat like a whirlwind of wheat seeds. I bring the game up to the next level. I'm like the LeBron of wheat seeds, you know what I mean? Like, this is what I do right here. Ain't nobody want to mess around with my wheat seeds. My wheat seeds is the gangster wheat seeds. And then this crop over here on this, that's the reason why I took an extra civilian, is because I think this crop over here, which currently has no one tending it, I think, should grow up perfectly fine in the next little bit. There we go. So we got another wheat field. It's a little bit of a patchy wheat field, but that's okay. I can live with patchy. It all it doesn't need to be perfect all the time. I think that's a I think that's a very unfair restriction to place upon your wheat field let your wheat field be who it's gonna be let it actualize let it become everything you ever expected from a mystical wheat field i was gonna say i haven't seen any zombies in a little bit but it looks like they're coming in it'd be cool if i could equip a bow and actually like fight with zombies too i don't know i want to get in on the action i feel a little bit left out right now i feel like these guys are getting all the targeting fun and they're getting to do all the things that like i wish i could do you know it's not fair I want to do the cool targeting thing. I think what I'm going to attempt to do is make like a little, like a kill box gatehouse over here to sort of force them in. I didn't space that properly. I think that's about right. And then I think if I spread this out a tad, so we make like a little gatehouse right here, something like this would probably be perfectly fine. And then we put up, like, some walls. They'll be able to fire at the zombies as they come in. Although I'm a little bit concerned... Hmm. I'm a little bit concerned about the cogency of this plan. Like, I want to do it, but... This may backfire on me horribly. And the downshot to things backfiring horribly... I'll probably do something like that right there. That looks okay. Zombies, you better not bite me. You better not. You better stay away from my ish, zombies. If you get all up in my ish, you're going to wish that you hadn't gotten all up in that ish dish, yo. You better back up. 
Alright, so zombies ain't messing with me right now. We'll do that right there. Dude, I've had this song stuck from like Les Miserables in my head. I swear to God. I had this song that... I've had that shit stuck in my head like all day and it just will not go away. And like somebody told me the secret like a long time ago. Somebody told me the secret to that shit like getting a song unstuck from your head is just to, like, think of the ending of the song, and that shit don't work. Whoever came up with that was a liar. It works, like, it's got a better success rate than just sitting around waiting for it to happen, you feel me? But, at the same time, I think we should have a little bit better chances if I do something like this. I'm not a big fan of stuff like kill boxes. I think that, like, RimWorld ruined kill boxes for me, like, forever. Like, I just, I don't have any patience for kill boxes anymore. But at the same time, it needs to get done. And so there it is. Now we've got like a sweet little... Oh, it's spaced wrong. It's spaced so wrong. All right, so I fixed the spacing. The down, the upshot here is that our security strategy actively worked. We just needed like a little gatehouse in front of this thing. And it's probably going to look stupid. It's probably going to look like a big old like stony dong in the front of my castle. Actually, it doesn't look that terrible. I expected it to look a lot worse, like way worse than it actually does right here. But it sort of rounds out the castle a little bit, don't you think? It makes it a little bit like, don't you know, it, it, makes, the, it makes the castle a little bit like rounder on the front. And I kind of like that. I feel good about it. I think I could actually make it look even rounder if I added like something like that right there. I don't know. You're playing around with like blocks and pixels essentially and voxels. And so rounding things out can be a challenge. But I think that looks pretty good. It's about the best that I could do for right now because I needed to funnel things through like the front of our castle. It's definitely growing and it's definitely getting more badass. I like our castle a lot right now. I don't know what I want to do with this side of the wall. Anything that wants to come in has to go through the front anyways, and so I don't think I need, like, extra security towers or anything on one side. I doubt that that's going to be a concern that we actively want to look into. Our wheat fields are doing their things over here. This one's ready to go, so... Oh, I do have a... What? I don't recall having a wheat farmer over here. Hmm... Well, I suppose we do. I'm going to give him a crate so that it makes his life a little bit easier. There we go. Great crate, mate. You'll have a couple of crates over here so that when you harvest, things go, I guess, simpler. He's having to walk a long ways in order to get things done. That does give us an extra supply of food, but aside from that, I really feel like the game needs more. Like, it needs some more stuff inside of it. Like, it needs some more stuff to do. As of right now, like, yeah, you can build and you can do stuff like that, but I want to see, like, more cool stuff. At If I get into, like, a... Hmm... I wonder if I can... So my thought is, what I stalled out there on is that I could actively, like, kind of build the castle out from here and use this as a front wall, and then we have, like, a separate little living area on this side that's accessible through a gate right here that runs all the way down to that side. It would require me to farm a little bit more stone, but it might work. It might be the sort of thing that might end up being a little bit interesting. I don't know if it's something I want to play around with right now. I also think we should probably... We've got taiga logs, we've got torches, we need coal in order to get more of that. We've got plaster blocks, which are stone bricks and gypsum. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. We've got the shop, which gives us gold coins. You can buy very expensive flax seeds for now. We've also got linseed oil, which apparently makes things shiny. We've also got adobe... We've got coated planks. Okay, there are like some things that I haven't gotten around to building inside of the game right now. And so I am interested in doing those things, but it sounds like I need to go down and mine a little bit further. So I'm not going to bore you with the details of what goes into that. Let's go get some more stone. I think that having another worker would probably be good too. I'm going to recruit another colonist. You cannot recruit colonists. You do not have enough free beds. Well, that represents a problem. I think I can fix that problem. That problem is not like a massively concerning problem because we are going to build a wizard tower today. The wizard tower! Time to build the tower of the wizard. The mighty wizard. All right, so I've got to keep an eye on that over there. But for now, we got to decide where the wizard tower is going to go. I think the wizard tower would probably be a good fit for this area over here had I not turned it all into a massive wheat grind field. Had I not converted it into civilian slave pits, it would probably be a cool place. And so I think a wizard tower would be perfectly well set over here. And so what I want to do with it is we're going to go like one, two, three, four, five, like that. We'll go like two in between, and then one, two, three, four, five, two, 
and then I just kind of want to appraise two, three, four, five. I just I can count. Isn't that awesome? You guys have learned today that I can count. Unfortunately, I have to do it with my mouth space. And so we've got that right there. I do wish there was like wedge blocks or something. That would be a cooler way to do this. But I think if I put like one point in the center of each of these, except for the front, except for the front, we're not going to do it in the front, I think it'll be cool. And so we've got that right there. That'll be our doorway that we're working with. The other question that we've really got to think about here is do we want it to share like the same motif as the rest of everything we've got going on? Or do we want it to look fancier? I am of the opinion that wizards love fancy things. That's just my thought about the whole thing, is that wizards really like cool stuff. And so I'm going to throw in some support columns right here. How's that look? Yeah, support column right there. That seems all right to me. The spacing seems good, and I think it'll... I don't know. I always start these projects in, like, Minecrafty games, and then I get, like, halfway through, and I learn a lesson where I'm like, okay, that doesn't look exactly how I wanted it to look, but you figure out the way to get it to how you want it to look, you know? And so we've got the two gap right there. Let me get up on a block so this thing can't murder me, because we got zombies, like, everywhere right now. I don't know if I want to go with stone planks... But I think I've got a rough idea for how I want, like, the base of this thing to be built. And then what we'll do is we're going to kind of pinch it inwards, like, poo style, once it gets a little bit higher up. Not right now. Now is not the time for the pinching. But the time for the pinching will come. The time for... Oh, yes, indeed. It will come. I think I'll probably just go with log blocks over here. I mean, log blocks... Yeah, that gives it, like, a rich mahogany color. And I think that'll be cool. I don't actually think I need a block right there. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I need a block there at all because what's going to happen is as I bring that up, it's going to block that gap anyways and you're not going to be able to see it. And so why concern yourselves with it? There we go. I'm all about conserving labor and not doing things that I don't want to do. I'm pretty good at avoiding doing things that I don't want to do. I'll be honest. It's a skill set that I have. I've really kind of dialed it home as I've gotten older. Older and lazier and uglier and smellier and all that kind of stuff. We don't have a lot of logs for this job, though, so this might turn out to be kind of a weird investment for us, in all honesty. thats It's rough for re-election, man. People are like, yeah, you know, he started out cool. It seemed like he had some sort of, like, general concern for, like, our well-being and our health and all that kind of stuff. And then he started on that wizard tower project. That thing got subsidized, and man, after that point, it just turned into his, his entire, his entire, I don't know, political machine just turned into a shit show, you know? An entire administration was just based around that wizard tower. We kept telling him, you know, we're starving. Maybe a wizard tower isn't a great idea right now. Maybe we should dial back on the wizard-related expenditures. They're really putting us in the black right now, but he didn't seem to want to listen. So, you know, what can you tell the king? He is the king, after all. He's he's the guy. And so you got to gotta be careful, you know. You don't want to end up with your head in a bucket or anything like that. Because he is a big fan of heads in buckets, that is for sure. He added a whole new thing, like, on one side of town where it was just, like, how many heads can you fit into one sizable bucket? And we asked him, you know, stop trying to shove heads in the bucket. This is this is not a way for royalty to act right now. And he just kept doing it, so, you know, I, I get the feeling that maybe dark times might be ahead, but... I don't know, I'm not gonna, chow I'm not gonna count those chickens before they hatch. I'm a little paranoid about it. I think we've got a pretty I think we've got a pretty good standard base right now for like what we're going for with the wizard tower. I think that if I could get the blocks to spiral around the edges from like some point, it'll give it a much more like magical wizardy look. But the spiral is going to be very time intensive and very difficult to manage. And so like the spiral would be something like you put a stone block, you put that you put a block right there, you put two in right there. And so from like this point forward, you'll start to see that like it'll develop a spiral right there. And actually if I'm going to do that, a good idea might be to actually get the stone right there so there's a demarcation between like the vestibule down here for the wizard tower and where the spiral starts going up the stairs. But getting that design just right might be challenging. Might be a tiny bit challenging. I don't know. Either way, we're going to need more logs, so I'm going to take care of that issue first. One of the downers is that I was kind of hoping the wood blocks would have the same texture as the trees that you're chopping down right now. 
That's what I was hoping for, but it didn't go down that way. It has kind of like a richer, more like mahogany color to it. It's also got a different texture. Like this actually has like wood grain inside of it. Whereas what we're putting down over there has almost kind of like a spackled... It almost looks like a stone block, but made from wood. Like it was recolored maybe. I don't know. In either case, we now have wooden blocks, so I'll bring those on over. And we'll start playing around with ideas here. Let me know if you want to see more creative stuff, or if you want to see me, like, building up my society a little bit more. I don't really care. It doesn't bother me at all. I can do whatever. We're going to have to come up with some kind of scaffolding effort here. Otherwise, this is just not going to be functional. I, I think it'd probably be a wise idea, too, to start putting in the flooring. That way, I can actually work on a stairwell that goes up to the top. And once we have the stairwell... That'll make things easier, too, because I can just go to whatever level I'm working on at that point. As of right now, I'm risking quite the Humpty Dumpty-ish fall if I fuck this up, and I, I'm, re I'm really trying not to, despite the, frick the, the friskiness currently available in my system, but, you know. Now that that's cleared out, I think I'm just going to go for, like, a normal wood plank floor in here. Yeah, I think the game needs a lot more, like, doors and, like, cabinets and, like, tables and stuff like that, too. In addition, uh, can I do that right there? There we go. This isn't looking too bad. I mean, I don't know if the floor matches up with what I'm trying to do. I may not just make it like a solid block of color. What I may instead do is put in like some wizardy designs in the floor. I don't know. We'll we'll fill in the we'll fill in the the plank blocks first, and we'll figure that out. And then once the plank blocks are in, that's when we'll start thinking about how we want to make the rest of it look good. Like, I would probably go for something like this right here. And so let's take out a strip right here. And now that the strip's been removed, we'll just kind of... We'll just kind of go through, and I'll put in some stone blocks like so. I want it to look a little bit more lavish, you know what I mean? I want this area to look like whoever was in here put in the effort. And so we'll maybe cross this over right there. And then just to even it out a tad, we'll do something like that. Yeah, that'll, that'll space out the room a little bit better. And then, there needs to be like something, there needs to be like a center stone right here, basically. Can I put coal in here? No, I can't put coal in there, okay. Like, let's say that we put that right there. Yeah, I think that actually looks really good. And then, we'll start doing kind of a, I don't know, I don't even know what to call this, like a mosaic, I guess. My dad did a mosaic in my, my parents' living room. My dad is like the ultimate handyman. I've talked about this on the channel like a bajillion times. My dad legit is like the handyman of all handymen though. And like he did like a full mosaic floor like in his living room, like in the entry hall to their house. Like it's got this gorgeous thing that he did all by hand. He just like pieced it together Lego style. And it looks incredible. It's like this like uh... It almost looks like a shielded circle, almost. And then inside of it, it's got tons of fragments of, like, turquoise and everything else. I mean, I don't know if I like that or not. It's got kind of a checkerboard pattern, and it's all symmetrical and whatnot. Well, it's not completely symmetrical, but... I think that looks pretty good. I mean, it's the entry to, like, a wizard hall, you know what I mean? Like, you gotta... In your wizard hall, you gotta be looking diggity dank. I'm gonna get some torches in here too, because if there's one thing I know about wizards, it's that they love themselves some torches. And so we'll put some torches up like right here so that we can like see what we're working on. The wizard's got he's gotta read parchments and whatnot, so he's gotta have lots of illumination. Like how you gonna read if you ain't got illumination? And then we can start thinking about how we want this stairwell to exist. Cause like I don't know. I think, as we go up, we'll take that right there so that it all kind of stays together. I may not have made the base of the tower large enough, I think is my principal concern for right now. I think the base of the tower is not wide enough for the project that I'm currently trying to do. Normally, I would just do this with ladders, but... It's possible what we could do is instead we could have it uh, turn right here. There is a stairwell turn, turn, turn.
Yeah, like something like that right there, I think would be perfectly functional. And that would sort of like get us to where we want to go. I mean, it does eat up a lot of floor space. But... I don't know. I'm not a home designer. This seems like a reasonable enough spot to put in the, uh, the beginning of the next floor. And then what I'll do is I'll leave a gap over here. Yeah, it's going to need one. I'm going to have to leave a gap on this side so that we have enough room to, like, accomplish the things we want to accomplish. But, bring this across. And I am going to do, like, a floor design on each floor. It's just kind of for now. Think of this as filler floor. You know it's filler. It fills up space. I ran out of stone bricks. There we go. Perfect, and we'll bring that back around like so. And like the first little layer of our location is kind of done. It's getting there. I mean, we got we got definite time put in on the project that's finished off right now. We've got lots of iron ingots still left over. They've been stacking up food, so I'm thinking the next thing we probably want to do is like, I don't know. I'm going to move this torch over here. I'm going to put it right here in this little alcove. That's pretty sweet. I can dig it. Maybe I'll take these ones down right here, except for the ones in the front. Yeah, dude, that looks dope, because it's got like a recession right there. Yup. Okay. I'll put one in there, even though it seems pointless to me. Uh, this is where we put the bad colonists. That's where we shove the bad colonists right there. Just in case they decide to be douche nozzles. The nozzle of a douche. I may also put like a little... Oh, I fell down. Okay. I may also put like a little bridge in between the wizard tower and what I'm trying to do over here. But this is going to take a considerable amount of materials. And so what I'm thinking is I actually had like 200 bricks right there. 300 bricks. It's amazing how fast like 200 bricks goes. That's basically what we got going on right now. We're going to build it up, and then at the top, it's going to flare out ever so slightly. And I think it's going to look good. I think it's going to look really good. I think it's going to look sweet. Uh, I will see you all next time. Thank you for stopping in for another episode of Colony Survival. Uh, food is starting to stack up. We're starting to look a little bit better on that front. And so I definitely think we'll probably be able to get away with that sooner rather than later. Uh, as the... Um, at the moment, I can't really use this for colonist beds like I wanted to. But what I may do is dig like an underground bunker where I can just put in a bunch of beds. And then once I've got a bunch of beds down in there, that'll just give us like some room to grow, you feel me? I don't want to have beds stacked in like every single corner. But at the same time, I need to get stone bricks anyways. And so building like a, I don't know, some kind of like little recessed living area underground conserves surface space and makes it so that... Uh, well, anyways, you'll see in the next episode. All right, Colony Survival, let me know if you want to see more. I'm probably going to film more anyways because I like the game and I think that it's fun. I don't know. It's nice doing a game that doesn't have, like, something critical happening every two seconds and I just get to relax and be creative for a little while. And it's been a long time. I used to be really good at building stuff in Minecraft, but it's probably been seven or eight years since I played Minecraft last. Like, it's been a long time since I played it last. And I can tell, like, the rust is there. Like, I'm trying to remember old techniques and whatnot that I used to use in order to get things to look like certain ways. And I'm having trouble remembering. I used to follow guys like Keralis and a whole bunch of those, like, creative builder channels just to learn how to do things like building McDonald's and stuff like that. I used to find that to be pretty intensely interesting. Just watching people replicate designs in creative mode in Minecraft used to be really relaxing. But yeah, if you want the game, it comes out in about two or three days now, so you can get that down below. I will see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. Hi-do, everybody.